Good morning and welcome to the latest edition of City News in 10 here on the Mancunian Way. It's first thing in the morning. It is Monday, the 29th of August 2022. And what I want to do this morning is just give you a little brief roundup of all the action that has happened within the Premier League this weekend, including the table, where Manchester City currently lie in it, and where and who are in the bottom three, who is top of the league, and who is everyone else in between. So good morning, and let's get straight into it. So as we all know, Manchester City did run out 4-2 winners against Crystal Palace over the weekend. That Norwegian goal machine, Erling Bratt Haaland, Banging himself his 13th career hat-trick. Wow. 13 hat-tricks. Six goals in the Premier League so far. Top goal scorer. Scored with his left foot. Scored with his right. Scored with his head. Apparently he's a flop. Hmm. The only thing flop about him is probably his flip-flops he wears when he's at home. That's it. This guy's a goal machine. And for me will take Manchester City all the way to Premier League glory for three on the bounce. But that's Manchester City. How did everybody else do this weekend? Well, let's get it currently up. So, this weekend, we have had... It all started out on... Saturday, there was no Friday night games this week, but these are the scores. We started out on Saturday with Southampton nil, Manchester United 1, Brentford 1, Everton 1, Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Leeds United nil, Chelsea 2, Leeds 1, Liverpool 9, 9, yeah, I haven't said that incorrectly, they have scored 9, but Mohamed Salah can't score from two yards out. AFC Bournemouth, nil. Manchester City, the current Premier League champions for Crystal Palace 2. Remember, Palace, two goals up in that game at halftime. Arsenal came back from one goal down against Fulham at home to secure a 2-1 win. Then we went on to Sunday, and it was Aston Villa, nil. West Ham United, the Hammers, Finally get points, full maximum points on the board away at Steven Gerrard, Aston Villa and sadly, Gerrard is already in huge amounts of issues, problems and amounts of pressure coming into the game week five of this English Premier League. You think at Wolverhampton Wanderers won, Newcastle United won, ASM does it again in injury. Well, it's about the 90th minute. Scores an absolute peach of a goal straight into the onion bag for uh, Newcastle United to get them a point. And most will say a deserved point as well. And then their final game of the weekend, the late game of the weekend, which Manchester City fans take a little bit of interest in because it's Nottingham Forest, Manchester City's opponents. In just over 48 hours' time, Wednesday evening, Notts Forest going down 2-0 at home to Tottenham Hotspur. Harry Kane's Tottenham Hotspur. Conte's Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham, are they title contenders? Are they title pretenders? Well, we'll have to say, but Manchester City, yes, this is how we look right now. In the league table. As you can see, Arsenal are top. Four from four, ladies and gents. 12 points. Manchester City are second. Tottenham are third. Hot on the heels of Manchester City. Brighton and Hove Albion top four. What a job Graham Potter is doing. Then we've got Leeds and Chelsea fifth and sixth. We've got Newcastle United seventh. United... <laughs> They're eighth. Got to laugh. Liverpool are ninth. Oh, that's even better. Burnley, uh, Brentford tenth. Burnley, nearly said Burnley. Brentford 
Is that B word? B B B B word. Brentford at tenth. Fulham are eleventh. Palace uh, got a twelfth. Southampton thirteenth. Forest dropped to fourteenth. Aston Villa, West Ham, AFC, Bournemouth, and then the bottom three: Everton, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and bottom of the pile is Leicester City with one point from a possible 12. Is Brendan Rodgers? Is, is Stevie G? Is Scott Parker? Is Frank Lampard? Are they all under huge amounts of pressure already? We are about to enter the final 72 hours of the transfer window. The next last three or four days coming up it is expected to be a busy one. But yeah, Manchester City, second in the league, only by Arsenal. Fixtures this week that are coming up, because this is going to be a big midweek. Manchester City do play this week on Wednesday. We are now, remember, in a World Cup year. World Cup is two, three months away. So up until now, till about end of October, we are playing twice a week good as and it all kicks off on tuesday evening crystal palace are at home to brentford fulham take on high flying graham potters brighton and hove albion southampton are at home to chelsea free free spending scattergun chelsea leeds united are at home to everton that is going to be a huge six pointer already at this stage of the season then we go on to Wednesday of this week. It then goes to Arsenal are at home against Villa, the league leaders. Can they make it five from five? 15 points. The Gunners will be wanting to shoot down Aston Villa. Um, AFC Bournemouth are at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. This is the time Bournemouth and Scott Parker will think they can grab themselves their first major, major stamp on this Premier League. Manchester City, as we know, are at home to Nottingham Forest. Yeah, and you know what we're, you know we're going to hear? Champions of Europe, you never sing that. Boring, get a new one. Uh, West Ham United are at home to Tottenham. Liverpool are at home to high-flying Newcastle as well. That should be a cracker. And then we're on into Thursday as Leicester City take on Man United at the King Power. So, yeah, that is going to be one heck of an absolute weekend. A oh, weekend, sorry, midweek action coming up in this Premier League. It has been amazing. Game weeks one, two, three and four. We're about to eat it. Game week five. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. How has this Premier League shaped up to you? Have Manchester City started far better than what you thought? Because apparently we're slow starters. 10 from 12. 10 from 12. Arsenal, 12 from 12. Yeah. Leicester City, 1 from 12. What is going on at the King Power? Looks like Fafana might be on his way to Chelsea as well. This is going to be one interesting season. And I cannot wait to see how it concludes. But give us your thoughts down below. Are you surprised? Are you happy? How have you thought the start? Erling Haaland, has he proved everyone wrong? Six six goals in four games? Not bad for a flop, is a 51 million quid. What a bargain. What a bargain. Do we get him from Borussia Dortmund? Do we get him from home bargains? Which one we get him from? You let me know. Thank you for joining us here on the Mancunian Way. Please don't forget... There is the Crystal Palace post review with me and Rich up on the channel as well. Also, the Nottingham Forest preview is also out. Please join us here every day, 7 a.m. on the City News, Daily News in 10. It's going to be Monday to Friday, the City Daily News for 10 minutes. Your first thing in the morning, forget all your breakfast shows. This is where you want to wake up to. 7 a.m., Mancunian Way, Daily News in 10. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Take care. Manchester City, early in Highland. Not doing too bad, are we? Not doing too bad. See you on the next one, Blues.